What is poppin'? What's going on, YouTube world? My name is Jamal McKinney, or you can just call me Juice because that is my nickname. I appreciate you guys, like I said, for watching this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right now as it does help these videos got to the public and the channel to grow overall. Subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. I post a ton of great sports videos weekly, and almost every single day if I can. Turn on post notifications too so you don't miss a single one of those videos that I post on YouTube. Tell all your friends, tell your grandma about this channel as well. It's only right, you guys. I want to talk about the Houston Rockets this year because I am high on this Houston Rockets team. I love everything about them. Every time I keep thinking about the Rockets, I think to myself, man, I like this Rockets team. I get it. Everyone's talking about the Clippers. Everyone's talking about the Lakers. I think the Jazz have an underrated team this year. I think the Golden State Warriors are still pretty good. I think the Denver Nuggets are going to win a lot of games. I think Portland's very good. I just think people really, and I mean really, sleeping on this Houston Rockets team. Okay, and I get it. I get people have skepticism and are just worried and don't want to have, they don't have a lot of trust in the Rockets this year because of James Harden and Russell Westbrook. I get it. Can they play together? Who's going to dominate the ball? Who's going to play off ball? Is there enough shots to go around? Is Russell Westbrook selfish? Is James Harden selfish? Can they work together? I mean, is Mike D'Antoni a mess? I get it. There's a lot of questions. But I have answers for you guys today. And I have answers to my reasoning as to why I think James Harden and Russell Westbrook will work and why I think they can really actually win the West and win an NBA championship this season. I really do think that. I really think they can win it all this year. They might be my pick to win the West this year. I don't know. I think the Clippers are good. The Clippers probably might be my pick. I think the Lakers are good, but the Rockets are right there, man. Why will this work in my opinion? Why do I think James Harden and Russell Westbrook are going to work, and why can they win an NBA championship this year? Well, for a couple reasons. Number one, they're a better team than they were last year. They are. I'm sorry. Chris Paul, you are you were not that good last year. Russell Westbrook is an upgrade over Chris Paul. Chris Paul was going to be 35 years old by the time the playoffs started next year. You mean to tell me James Harden was the corpse of Chris Paul, Mr. Second Round Chris Paul himself, Mr. Choker in the playoffs Chris Paul himself? You mean to tell me a 35-year-old Chris Paul as the second leading option on this team was going to win them a championship? No, stop it. Stop it. You're over your head, okay? And again, Chris Paul in 2016 played only 61 games. In 2017 and 2018. He played in 58 games. So Chris Paul, these past two seasons, has not really been fully healthy. Okay? So, again, Russell Westbrook. I get Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook's more in the back nine of his career than, than he is close to the front of his prime. I know Russell Westbrook is declining a little bit. His three-point percentage has gone down. Hey, Russell Westbrook this year, his free, throws, his free throw percentage even went down. Okay? But my thing with Russell Westbrook is this is a guy that has to be respected. This is a team that with their backcourt with James Harden and Russell Westbrook on paper as far as talent goes, it might be the best backcourt in basketball. I know from a, I know Steph Curry and Klay Thompson are really, really good. Klay Thompson's a bad boy, but Russell Westbrook, the past three seasons, has averaged a triple double, guys. So as far as talent goes, they have the talent. They are a better team than they were last year, okay? And both of these guys have led the league in assists, okay? That should count for something. They, are, they know how to distribute the basketball among their teammates. When they become unselfish enough, they become great distributors. You don't get lucky leading the league in assists. It just doesn't happen. You have to be a good passer. Russell Westbrook and James Harden are two of the best passers in all basketball. As much heat as you want to give them for saying, oh, they take a lot of shots, they dominate the ball. You got to keep that same energy when, when you know that they've led the league in assists at multiple times, okay? You got to keep that same energy, guys, okay? Keep that same energy, okay? And I think that now that Russell Westbrook's on this team, James, with James Harden and Russell Westbrook running the fast break, this is going to be one of the best fast break teams this upcoming season. The Rockets are going to be a great team. And Houston is always great in the regular season. Under Mike D'Antoni, Mike D'Antoni is the king of regular season, guys. Now, again, you want to say, oh, what about the playoffs? What about the playoffs, Jamal? What about the playoffs, Juice? I get it, but... As far as going against the Clippers, the Lakers, the Nuggets this year, the Jazz, I think that home court advantage is a premium this year. I think that home court advantage is going to matter when you're going up against a LeBron James and Anthony Davis. 
when you're going up against a Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, when you're going up against the Utah Jazz, the Golden State Warriors, it's never a bad thing to have home court advantage in the playoffs. As NBA teams, as NBA players, do they want to start their games on the road in the playoffs? No, they don't. They want those games in their home court. They want Game 7 in their home arena. So, it's not a bad thing to have home court advantage in the playoffs. And again, as far as the Houston Rockets go, I'm willing to bet my money. I'm willing to bet my money. I'm willing to bet bang that the Houston Rockets are going to finish with the best record in basketball. I think the Houston Rockets are going to, at the very least, be a top three seed in all of basketball this year. And I think they're going to probably finish with the best record in basketball. To me, the Denver Nuggets and Houston Rockets, along with the Utah Jazz, are going to be the top three seeds in basketball this year. James Harden and Russell Westbrook have one league MVPs. They go out all out in the regular season. They don't miss games. They're players that stay healthy. So my thing is, they're going to have home court advantage at the playoffs. And let's also not forget, guys, the mighty Golden State Warriors with Kevin Durant, with Klay Thompson, they're no longer there this year. So the team that knocked James, that's knocked James Harden out of the playoffs, I believe three times, I, I believe it's been three or four times, the Warriors had knocked James Harden out of the playoffs. The one team in the playoffs that's been his kryptonite. They're no longer at full strength. They no longer have Kevin Durant. They no longer have Klay Thompson for most of the year. Steph Curry is going to have to carry the load. It's a, two, it's a totally new Warriors team. No more Andre Godala. Now Steph Curry. Now Draymond Green. Now D'Angelo Russell are going to, going to have to carry this team. I don't even know how D'Angelo Russell will fit with this team. This is a guy in James Harden. Had Chris Paul not gotten hurt a couple years ago. Would have beaten the Golden State Warriors with Kevin Durant. This is a guy last year that was close to beating the Warriors with Kevin Durant. The Houston Rockets have been there. Now they're nemesis. Now the team that they were, that they worried about, the Golden State Warriors, the team that's been unbeatable up until Kevin Durant got hurt, is now gone. That team's no longer in existence. I like the Clippers. I like the Lakers. I like the Jazz. I like the Nuggets. And I'm going to say this right now emphatically. None of those teams I mentioned are as good as the Warriors. So if James Harden can almost beat the Warriors with Chris Paul going down in Game 6, not being there in Game 7, had it not been for 27 straight missed three-pointers, and they still only lost by single digits, if it were not for that, if, if James Harden can almost beat the Warriors with Kevin Durant, he for sure can beat Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. He for sure can beat LeBron James and Anthony Davis, in my opinion. I'm sorry, I'm not a big believer in the Lakers. I'm, not, I'm a believer in the Clippers but not as much as the as the Rockets this year. And again, why look at this roster? Are you kidding me? This roster is loaded. You had Russell Westbrook, a former league MVP, to go with James Harden, who in the regular season at least, you can make the argument has been the best player in basketball just as far as the regular season goes these past three seasons. It's been James Harden and everyone else. It's been James Harden and Russell Westbrook. It's been James Harden and LeBron James. It's been James Harden and Giannis Antetokounmpo. The past three seasons, it's been James Harden and someone else. James Harden has been a top two player in the regular season in all basketball. James Harden is a top five player in all basketball. This is a guy that averaged 36 points per game last year. Averaged a ton of points last year. Should have won league MVP last year. He got robbed of league MVP last year. You add a guy like Russell Westbrook to the mix with Eric Gordon, with Gerald Green, with Clint Capella, with Tyson Chandler to block shots, Austin Rivers, Ryan Anderson, P.J. Tucker, Tabo Cephalosha to defend, Donnell House, Nene. I mean, I look at this team. They go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They go almost 10 players deep. The Houston Rockets are a loaded roster. I will put them up with a roster up against any team. I will put them up against the Lakers roster, the Clippers roster, the Sixers roster, the Bucks roster, the Warriors roster. They can go up against any roster in basketball and match up. They can go 10 deep with anyone. And what do the Houston Rockets do better than anyone in basketball? Even better than the Golden State Warriors. They shoot the lights out of the three-pointer. Okay? Listen. This was the best three-point shooting team from a year ago. And one thing about Russell Westbrook. I get the fact that Russell Westbrook has failed mightily in the playoffs. The past three seasons, there's no excuse for Russell Westbrook being bounced in the first round with the amount of talent he's had in Oklahoma City. But I will give Russell Westbrook a semi-pass for this. The team was not constructed around his strength, which was his ability to facilitate and kick it out to shooters. The Oklahoma City Thunder were not into analytics. They were not into three-point shooting. They did not have enough shooters to surround Russell Westbrook to maximize the team's opportunity. 
Ever since Kevin Durant left, they've not had enough shooting. That's one of the reasons why they've been bounced in the first round the past three seasons. They went with Steven Adams and Nick Collison over great shooters. The best shooter last year, other than maybe, you know, um, Paul George on the on the Oklahoma State Thunder last year, was arguably Jeremy Grant. I'm sorry. The NBA is driven by analytics today. The NBA is driven by shooting. And that's something Oklahoma City did not pay attention to when Russell Westbrook was, was there, even when he was with Kevin Durant. They didn't pay attention to analytics. They said, screw the three ball. We'll go with the big men, okay? That's not the way to go. That's not the way to go in the NBA today, okay? It's not the way to go. It's not. That's not gonna get you NBA championship. That's not gonna get things done. So my thing with the my thing with the with the Rockets is Russ Westbrook is going to be in heaven, kicking it out to Eric Gordon, to Ryan Anderson, to PJ Tucker, to Gerald Green, to all those great shooters in Houston. They have about four, five, six guys that can shoot the lights out of the three in Houston. They have shooters all over. And Russell Westbrook's ability to facilitate, to penetrate, and get into the paint and kick it out to shooters, it will be maximized at the fullest potential. Same with James Harden, guys. Okay? And then it comes down to the two guys. Russell Westbrook and James Harden. Two guys, the past three seasons, the pretty much their whole career in the playoff, have had epic failure after epic failure have had failure after failure, have had just choke job after choke job in the playoffs. These guys are first battle Hall of Famers. We know that. But as far as the playoffs go, they're nowhere near the first battle Hall of Famers that we've seen in the regular season compared to the playoffs. This is a team. These are two players that know they have failed mightily in the playoffs. I feel like that James Harden and Russell Westbrook, two guys that have been teammates together in the past, two guys that went to the NBA Finals in Oklahoma City together. Now again, granted, it was with James Harden coming off the bench. It was with Kevin Durant being the best player on the team. Totally different scenario. I get it. But at least they played together. No, at least they are familiar with each other. These guys grew up together in California in high school. They both played in the Pac-12 in college. James Harden at Arizona State. Russell Westbrook at UCLA. They've been close ever since pretty much teenagers. They can work together. If any, if any duo can work things out with a lot of rips, it's James Harden and Russell Westbrook. I firmly believe that James Harden and Russell Westbrook know in their mind to mind that there's that their window to win an NBA championship is closing. I think that this year they will sacrifice for each other. They will be on their game. And, and James Harden, that's one thing about James Harden as well. He has been he has gotten better and better as the postseason has gone on throughout his career. This past year, he was starting to show flashes that he's starting to get over the choke jobs he's had in the playoffs. He's still choking, but not as bad as he's, not as bad in the past. Not as bad as, you know, only scoring 10 points in a closeout game versus the San Antonio Spurs without Kawhi Leonard at home, okay? He's no longer doing that. James Harden is no longer the biggest ultimate choke job in all sports in basketball. He's no longer that. He's far from that. He's turned the corner to some degree in the playoffs. I think that James Harden and Russell Westbrook are going to make it work. This is a team that's good enough defensively. This is a team that has enough shooters. This is a team that has the ego, that has the attitude. Russell Westbrook, one thing about him, he will bring a new added edge. He will bring an edge to the Houston Rockets that they have not had the past couple of seasons. Russell Westbrook and James Harden are going to work out. They are going to be better than the Clippers. Better than the Lakers in the regular season. That's one thing about the Clippers and the Lakers. They're going to take games off. James, listen, LeBron James and Kawhi Leonard, they made it clear. They want to get to the they want to get to the playoff. They don't care about the regular season. They will have an advantage, in my opinion. If I had to bet money, they're going to have the best record in basketball. James Harden and Russell Westbrook will work. James Harden is going to be able to sacrifice. Russell Westbrook is going to be able to sacrifice. And ultimately, these are two players that have failed mightily, and they will get it done. They know father time is going to start ticking on them. They know their window for a championship is about, to, is about to close. And when those things happen, when all doubt fails, sometimes in sports, you just can't describe storylines. I think the storyline is going to be this year, James Harden and Russell Westbrook balling out in the playoffs and potentially maybe even winning a championship this year. Russell Westbrook and James Harden will work and they will eventually win a championship in Houston as Houston Rockets together and as teammates. It might even be this year, guys. Be sure to comment where you agree with me and disagree with me. 
Tell me where I'm right, tell me where I'm wrong. Love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right now if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos weekly and almost every single day if I can. A fun fact about me is I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world. I want to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. Kind of like Colin Cowherd, Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp. You get the point. Okay, I want to do sports, television, and radio for a full living once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. Ohio. I currently am a freshman there right now. So the best thing you guys can do to just help me continue to grow as a young broadcaster is to just share this channel with all your friends because potentially if this channel really, really gets somewhere, I want to start my own network, okay? You know, or potentially if it doesn't, you know, or if I fall a little bit short, I want to go into a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. So the best thing you guys can do to just flat out just help me grow as a broadcaster help me learn you know get other people hit to this channel you know just share this channel with all your friends share this channel on facebook share it on twitter share it on instagram all that good stuff also be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms and once again guys just share this channel with everyone you know get everyone hipped and watching these videos get my voice out there and heard share it on facebook share it on twitter share it on instagram all that good stuff it's been your boy jamai mckinney or you can just call me juice i appreciate all you guys for tuning in today i really do have a god blessed day stay motivated you guys and i'm out